if you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, for I, I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know? And with that, I'm off. So, I do not think I'm going to read all of those, simply because it's already starting to destroy my voice. So, I will, however, do it occasionally for the important islands. Uh, if you want to know the rest, I recommend you pick the game up and play it yourself. Or go to Zelda Wiki. Either way, this is a great time for some water. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah, the one problem with the Great Sea is that there is a fuck ton of sailing. And uh, most of it's not very fun. So, I think after this episode, oh Jesus, I'm going to prepare just a few topics for me to talk about at any given moment. Uh, just to have something to discuss over the Great Sea. Because this place is boring as shit. Like, it's literally just this. It's the amazing music and then infinite ocean. Hello, hello! You look interesting! Yeah! yeah. Mighty fine boat you got there, bub! You must be searching for treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? <laughs> you won't get any from us, bub! Not likely! Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates. Pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things that I've never heard of. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub, tell you what, as a one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take name, no for nah. Just grab it. And he gives us a treasure chart. Yeah, we know how this fuck this works. Thank you. First, press up, then press Y, and then you can search for it. Just use your grappling hook while in your boat to haul up treasure. Yeah, those grappling hooks, nothing pulls up stuff like those. That's all they do. Well, little treasure buddy, good luck to us all. Good luck to all of us. Happy hunting. I love them, but what the hell is with the voice? And look, a fish to go along. This is an important island, so I will read the dialogue. Here's some bait for you, you little bastard. Nom 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 nom. Hey, you want chart and information? Let's go. Eastern Triangle Island. Tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by a monster and such, and you think you're finally met your match. If you've gotten a fairy, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there, and that's all the info I've got to offer. Now with that, he's off. Well, we're headed south anyway, so we might as well stop and look for the submarine. And by submarine, it, it literally is a Donkey Kong barrel. Like, he says submarine, I say... That is not... I'm surprised my sail didn't disappear. I'm surprised I did that fast enough that my sail did not disappear at all. Well, south one square. Which will be this island. That is not... Oh, God. Hmm. So there's an island here, there's a fish there, and then there's that, which I think is the submarine. I can't believe I just wasted bait like that. Uh, I got my bat buttons backwards. There we go. Oh, pathing. He takes a moment to come get us. No, but uh, one thing I've wanted to talk- I'll read what the city has to say. 
I'll read what the city has to say and then I'll go into what I was going to talk about. So, welcome to Bomb Island. You ought to come sail on the nights. Uh, you ought to come sail these seas on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers. And that's it. That's all this asshole has to say to us. So, this is the sail. So there's the submarine. But uh, one of one pet project of mine that I've always wanted to make is a fire emblem hack. But not just any fire emblem hack. I wanted a fire emblem hack where it's Zelda based. So like I wanted you to play through like you at the very start of the game you pick like which game you want to I don't know why the fuck that pot was moving. There should be a barrel in here, so let's kill everything in the- Ow! Fucking... Bastard rats. They attack you and then you drop your money. So... There's no hole, unfortunately, for us to befriend them. So we're just gonna have to kill the little fuckers. Ha! <laughs> Good combos, Link. You've actually done an amazing job defending yourself from two of these. I'm not hunting for fucking... Please be alive. No! Yes! <laughs> yes, there we go. That's the way we do it. Ooh, and a chest appears. I'm pretty sure the rats in here are endless. But... <laughs> that thing defied gravity to try and kill that rat. Please open. You've got an empty bottle. Hell yeah, that's two bottles. We will take all the bottles in the world. And with that, we're gonna climb the ladder and get the hell out of here before Rat attacks us again. Anyway, but I've always wanted to make a Fire Emblem hack. And then you start as Link, and then you can play throughout the course of like a Zelda game and slowly gain allies. So let's take, uh, let's take, oh Jesus, my voice. But let's take, like, Orcarina of Time as an example. Um, so, in Orcarina of Time, you start Gokiri Forest. And then I would have the first mission of the game be like you're attacked by, like, the Deku Babas and shit you can find around it. Um, so from there, you would be joined by Mido, who uses a Deku Lance. Like the one Lana uses. And then you would also be joined by Saria, who would be your healer and mag and light magic user. So th then you'd have Link, who could use a sword and a bow once you'd, like, promoted. But I just think it'd be a lot of fun to, like, sit down with the nitty gritty and try to make that work. I think it'd be a lot of fun to do. However, it would take a lot of sprite work. Um, the story's pretty much written yourself. And then... Yeah, just a lot of sprite work and then like custom maps and whatnot. So I, I'd have to get into sprite work, which I probably could do. I don't know. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? This is where you must go, Link. That forest haven. And then for which Fire Emblem game I would mod, I would probably use Sacred Stones. It may appear as though this is a great tree raising far above the ocean's surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the, De the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Pharaoh's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Hold on. That fish is out here somewhere. There he is. I would like to get map information first. The song is great. I love the Forest Sanctuary so much. Hi! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Do, 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 do. Just a wee bit north of this island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Now what could he be doing out on that lonely little island? I'll tell you, there are some strange folk in the world, and that's all the info I've got to offer. 
So some islands don't get their own like description. Some islands are just, ooh, ooh, Beetle, hello. I would love to buy some wares from you, Beetle. I am running a bit low on bait. Oh, thank you as always. So here's a question, is this the same beetle or is it, or is there just like, is this the Nurse Joy event? Hi. Is there just like 3,000 beetles throughout the world? <laughs> oh, did you go back? Uh, he went back to land, but so did beetle, so we're fine. All right. So let's be a little bit more equipped for the island, shall we? So these are Deku Babas. You got a Boko Baba seed. This is the source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps if you can find someone to cook it up, its magic can be unleashed. So these things are a little bit weird. They don't have conventional hit points. Instead, you have to break them off of their stem. Well, hold on, let me... Okay, good. And then if we can just throw it, and then it reveals their stem, and then it just takes one hit. So, so long as you can kill these things relatively quickly, there's literally no threat. Double jump attack also apparently works. I was hitting the wrong button again, so... Oh my god. Now they are lagging the fucking game, let me tell ya. That is not... There's the grappling hook. Is that an Octorok? Uh, yes. Yes, that is. He can't aim for shit, but yes, that is an Octorok. Your shield can just auto-reflect those back. Not the most threatening of enemies, but still. Good to keep in mind. They're also, like, really uncommon. I think there's only, like, two we have to face in the main story. And then every other Octorok just sort of appears on the great scene as optional. This was a mistake! I thought I could walk on that. The fact that the rupee didn't move it filled me with a false positive. I thought I could walk on that. <laughs> womp womp. Okay. So we'll just climb up here. Go this way. Yeah, the retrek to this place is kind of annoying. Don't fall in any water or go off the beaten path because it will punish you and put you back down there. Why? Who knows? However, it is a thing it does. Okay. Yeet. Yeah, yeet. Yeah. Yeet. Oh, you missed. I did my part spectacularly. <laughs> Just the most casual of animations. Fucking, oh my god, it's so sensitive. There we go. Just the tiniest flick and you'll be skyrocketing for miles. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Oh. There goes my neck. But well, welcome to Forest Haven. Okay. Well, clearly this is going to be one of the more laggy parts of the game. That's why we have the FPS meter. Dear God. The great earth spirit. The Deku Tree. He's got a pimple. Oh dear God. We need to kill a few of these things to protect our friend. Okay, that's all of the red ones gone. So then we have, for the first time ever, green choo choo. Now, green choo-choo are different from red choo-choo because they can actually sink into the ground. Good lord. Green choo jelly is like red choo jelly, but it has magical essence instead of... Oh, 
Oh, they left. And they go back on the Great Decker Tree. <laughs>